What's up YouTube? Welcome, it's Monday the 1st of June. Oh, it's 1st of June. So we're in the middle of summer right now. I should be making a fuckload in the restaurant. I should be open on Mondays as well, but we're not. There's not much I can do about that. No tourists, no money. It's just the way it is. But having said that though, things with easing is gonna pick up a little bit. But again, we're restricted with our social distancing procedures, so there is a finite amount of people I can serve in one night to make sure that there aren't more than one person inside. And I really don't care if the government stays, says it's safe when all the health officials are saying you shouldn't be allowing people back out. But I understand the government needs to protect the economy as well. It's, I do not envy their job. I mean, I'd love it. Like I was saying on the live stream yesterday, I'd absolutely love to be PM because I wouldn't give a fuck what people thought. I'd just do exactly what was best. If that makes it a dictatorship. I would not give power back. <laughs> but anyway. That's not the point, is it? Our main competitor, which is Piggy in the middle, they've now posted up they're going to be open exactly the same day as we are, which is fair enough. But I really don't think they've been as busy as us. We've been fairly... We've been busy enough that it's been pretty good. They haven't. So I'm guessing that's why they're opening up a few more days, because it's just the family that's running that. But I really do hope that their trade picks up, even though... I'm pretty sure they just want us to go fuck off. Oh, they did once actually try to get their son to work for us. And after a lot of people in the village said don't, uh, down the way that is, a lot of people in the village says don't hire him for a few reasons. Um, we eventually decided not to hire him because we thought that they might be trying to like still our, the way we do our fish and chips because they were really well renowned when we used to do them. And lo and behold, they started doing fish and chips take away fish and chips up in the town. But I, I just thought that was a bit interesting that the, like I said, I can afford to run at costs because I can mitigate my losses through the web store. So if they want to go to war, I will. Literally wipe the floor with them in, in terms of price and value and everything. It, it would just be pointless. I don't see this as a aggressive move though. I see it as someone trying to survive. You know, good luck to them. I really do want them to be busy. Everyone, there's enough trade for everyone. Maybe not at the moment. Because a lot of people aren't key workers, even though they're going back, everyone can go back. I think people can go back by the 15th of June. And the shops that weren't open can open back up. But it's all a bit tenuous right now. Nice that we're getting some of the summer. That they were like, the, the annoying thing is the one summer that is amazing and would have made our whole summer worth opening is obviously the sun. We didn't get much of that last year, so we can't take advantage of it. It's typical. It's honestly typical, just especially down the weir. That is nearly 99% tourist. In fact, it is, and that's why mum and dad are closed. <laughs> because there is no point in opening without the tourists. Because we're so niche down there as well. Well, the state won't put up a fucking sign that says where everything is. They miss us, and it's only by luck. Well, our trade is, I'd say, I reckon about 30% people returning from finding us the year before, and 70, or in the past, and 70% just luck because they wanted to see what was behind the buildings. Typical as well, it's always like, oh, we're only here for a day, and if we'd known you were, you were here, we would have come and used you. Don't get me wrong, we are, we are, in the summer, we are busy. In fact, we have queues going out the door, but it'd be nice even if, you know, we didn't have to rely on luck of the new people finding us. That would be just useful, especially in off-peak off, off -peak times. So just before summer, in between, you know, school holidays and half terms and stuff like that. And that would be fantastic. Like I said, we can't complain with what we turned on there, but it's just irritating that we get no help. We never seem to get help either. It's all bull fucking shit, to be honest. So I'm off to view this motorbike today. I'm not sure if they're gonna allow me to film. If they will, I will film it. If not, I won't, obviously. I'm very excited about going to see it. I am not gonna buy it. I'm just gonna go view it. You might be thinking, why, why bother viewing it? Well, I just wanna go see it. That's what I'm doing. Let's see what happens. There you I go. I saw the purple one as well. Did you have a hangover this morning, Dad? I got this feeling of deja vu. Yeah, okay, well done. I forgot <laughs> to press record after. No, I was fine. Well, did you? No, I was all right. You didn't drink, I, did you, you did actually drink quite a little bit. I did, I was a bit tipsy though. No, a bit. Uh-huh. <laughs> you were about uh, 10 seconds behind everybody else reading. Oh, that was so, like, I could. I even pointed it out like three times. Mom, I've just read that. What? <laughs> you carry on reading. I think we all did that at some point last night, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. But I was alright this morning, I've got out of house six, out in the garden, yeah. and planting. Yeah, I was alright. They're yeah. giving away free manure by the way. Where? On the way up in uh, Bridgewater. Water. I saw a massive sign just saying free manure, 
I'm guessing it's because a lot of the farmers have got extra manure and they can um, farm properly. Oh, it's a bit late now, isn't it? It's, on the, it's near Holf, it's just outside, for Holford or just outside Holford, I can't remember. Oh no, you know the, the, the cheese factory place? Yeah. Oh, yes. There. The manure have to be very careful, only certain plants will Use it. in because it's alkaline or acid know. or whatever. Roses is good for manure. So then it's acid, it's, it's yeah, really acidic. Not, this, I think this azalea as well, it loves drinking the beef blood. Mm -hmm. Oh, really beef blood? And if, when you cut, are you... Are you when I cut the beef, there's some blood in it, you just throw in it, it's thrive. How, do, you, how do people find out that? Mm, because it's bone, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Blood. You can get manure with bone and blood in it. It's actually help it grow. Lovely. Yeah. Especially... I don't think uh, for cows having blood and bone in their shit, there's something No, it's not blood. It's just like when you, have, when you buy the beef, there's that liquid red that run out, isn't it? Yeah, that's um, myoglobin. It's not yeah. blood. People think it's blood. It's not. It's not blood. What is it? Myoglobin. Yeah, the sort of the the what or a tip stream. Tunnel man. Tunnel man. Tunnel man. Water. Ta ta. Ta da. He's so hot. He don't know what's going on. Yeah. Ta da. You have little oil. Little oil. Mmm. You just go wherever we want to go. He wants to go inside that window now. He, he, I've seen him jump into there. He does. We've trained him so that he can be Right, so today I went to look at the bike. I forgot to tell you this earlier. Uh, wouldn't let me video it, unfortunately. I was in there and the, the guy actually pulled out the bike. He goes, I recognise you. I said, oh yeah, how? He goes, I, I think I recognise, do you do cookery videos? I said, yeah. During the lockdown, my missus was searching for you know, takeaway because all the local takeaways were closed. So we found your channel and um, you've used it. They've done sweet side chicken balls and fried rice. Salesman's name was Joe. Now, I personally think that was a really good sales ploy. Pretty good salesman, if that's the case. Because I, I kind of don't believe <laughs> that they they knew they, he knew me beforehand. Probably just seen, I'll click the link in my email. But apart from that, yeah, he was actually really good. And it would be nice if that was true, but and I don't hold it against him if it isn't. So I went to look at the bike and it was lovely, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get it. But watch this space. Also, today's vlog is gonna be really, really short. Got uh, quite a bit to do around the house. I need to edit this to be up for Monday. That's Tuesday, because it's Monday today, isn't it? Feels like Sunday. <laughs> um, I'm really looking forward to next week live though. Uh, it was really nice this week. It was really nice to be back. It was a small crowd compared to normal, which meant that the the messages were a little bit easier to read when they came up. Uh, I think I'm gonna actually have to sign off here even though I've probably only, only got about seven minutes worth of footage. I was kind of banking on that whole motorcycle thing. At the end of it, it was nice because he turned around and goes, I feel awful that I've denied you the fact that you can't film in here. They basically said because of data protection and stuff and they could possibly have computer screens up with people's details on them. FYI, uh, FYI and stuff like that that I couldn't film, which is fully understandable. I get that. And yeah, he just said, oh, now I realize who you are. I kind of wish that we, we could have done. And I said, that's fine, mate. Don't worry about it. I get it. You're not the only place that don't, don't allow people to um, video inside. It's, I get it. It's not an issue. It's not rude to me to say no. If you don't want to be filming in here, that's your prerogative, not mine. And then he said it wasn't his, it was just the boss, but... Oh, I did manage to get, talk them down on price though, which was pretty good. I know I didn't buy it, but it's always fun to pretend to haggle. I walked away with nearly 500 quid off the asking price, which is quite a lot actually. So I'm really happy with that. Just makes me... I'm just going to have to stay sober for the next seven days so I don't... Email them saying I'll take the bike. <laughs> anyway, guys, I will catch you soon. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to... I'm gonna have to get something up for tomorrow. Right, so yeah. Stop saying so yeah. Okay, uh, catch you guys later. Take care, stay safe. This is the way, live long and fucking prosper. And maybe this time next week I might have a motorbike. I'm slowly giving in. <laughs>